I was so intrigued by that demonstration that I had to do it again on a different level because there's a lot of this stuff in between that one. All right, first things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminates 4K screen paint using Ambulite Rejection Technology, game times eight. Uh, I'm gonna do a short demonstration here. This is not gonna take long like the other one did. And this demonstration, we're gonna do a color pattern test. So keep in mind when you're dealing with a white screen or light gray screens, and when I was coming up, light gray screens, uh, white screens were all the rage. There was no such thing as gray. There was no such thing as black or dark gray, anything like that. And you had to calibrate your projector. This is where calibration came from, from the, from the white screens, because they could not produce a proper color. I had this conversation before many times. But now, doing this against a black screen, I'm going to show you where, in this demonstration, as I said before, that a white screen or light gray screen will always have the ability to be able to produce a higher white level um, than a black screen. A black screen will produce better contrast, but also a black screen will produce better color pop. So you're getting higher white levels on a light gray screen or white screen, you're just not getting uh, color pop. And this is where you have to calibrate your projector because you cannot achieve a uh, good co color balance. Now, also, as I said, a light gray screen is caught in the land of limbo. And I'll tell you why. They can't produce a high enough white level higher than a white screen and they cannot produce a contrast anywhere near a dark gray screen or a black screen they don't have that capability but they can produce a slightly higher contrast level than a white screen all right so with that being said i think we're all caught up let me come over here and grab my controller for some reason i keep leaving it on the floor i break a lot of them that way and let's begin now this is a color pattern test it's going to allow you to be able to see how the screen is going to, screens are going to react to different colors. So first one's going to come up is white. And one of the things I want to explain, I want to pause it right here just for a minute. Now, as I said before, when it comes to, did I just pause that? I love how I pause things on this system over here, but it will continue to keep going no matter what. So this is just pause at the bottom. All right, now, as I said before, our technology, when it comes to white, we'll put, did I just pause that? I just paused that. Just paused it. And it's still moving. It's still moving as I paused it. Okay. Let's go back again. Hopefully. There we go. All right. Now, as I said before in the demonstration, that our screens are designed to produce a high enough white level where it's never going to be at a match, a gray screen or light gray screen. No, but it's designed to produce a high enough white level where you're not going to come out with a dark, dingy, dirty image. That's the whole purpose of the technology. Some people want to home in on that particular area saying, well, look, it can't produce a high enough white level than a white screen. White screens are not perfect. Light screen, gray screens are definitely not perfect because they're, they're filled with tons of flaws. But you'll see that when I do the color pattern demonstration, they do not pop. That's where calibrating the projector must come in. And this is where the screen actually also has a better chance of producing an image in a dark environment. Light environments are not good for these screens at all. All right, so let's begin. Now, keep in mind, pause this again. If the image is this dark here, that I'm displaying against a white and gray screen, the white levels should look the same way here as it will in the next demonstration while we show the Asian woman in the kitchen. The white levels should be this dark. So now we have red, green, blue this is why when I did the demonstration on the PS4 background it came up faded this is why black white again now come out of here for a minute if I can figure out which control is going to let me to move all right I 
there's red, there's blue. Different colors they have here. It's a pattern test right here. Now we'll come out of this all together. Oops, I think I bounced out a little too far out. Go back in. And we'll go over to where it says um, color test. Now you see how the colors are faded and washed out? That's not a lighter color, that's a faded color. Colors are supposed to be rich, and they're supposed to have deep colors to them. They're not supposed to be faded. All right, now, take this off here. Show you the screen how it's meant to be displayed. You're supposed to get rich colors from your screen. You can't get that from a white or gray screen because you would have to be sitting in the dark to do that. Now, let's go over to the, really quick, let's go over to our, take this off, we'll clear this. All right, and we'll go to the, so I'll drop my controller here. Oh, I thought I cleared that. Hold on for a minute. We did not clear that. Take that off. All right. Now, remember how I showed you how dark the color was on the, uh, the background, right? Like I said, next to a white or gray screen, it, not, it cannot produce a high enough white level. It's not going to be as white as those screens. That's virtually impossible. But the black technology has the ability to be able to produce a high enough white level where your screen will not come out dirty, will not come out dingy, will not come out black that you can't even see the screen. That's what you have to be to back up in your demonstrations. That color pattern test, that's a real test that they will put your screen to. You think I'm joking. They will stick your screen against a color pattern test, and it will stick a white screen and gray screen, different color screens up there, to see how your screen reacts. Now, someone said you're going to get brighter colors from a, um, from, a, uh, from, um, from a lighter gray screen paint. No, you're not getting a lighter color. You're actually getting a faded color. And that screen has a better chance of producing an image in a dark environment than a well-lit environment. Now, pause here. I bought my... You're on the floor. Which I should have everything up. And I don't. I don't have everything up. Let me grab this one right here. Okay. There we are. We produce higher than a black screen. how dirty the image looks and like I said any black screen is going to pull contrast problem you're going to have from a black screen it's not going to be to pull any other black screen is not going to be to pull a high enough white level and that means if you can't pull high enough white level it means everything else it's going to come out dirty. Now, let's take our dark gray screen paint sample, which we have here. It's in the center of our screen. Like that. All right, and as I said before, our technology has the ability to be able to blend in with a dark gray screen.
And these are the kind of demonstrations you have to be able to pull off. So if our screen was so dirty, so dingy, so dark, it would not be able to come close to blending in with a dark gray screen. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I'm Kenneth Bird from Luminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection technology gain. I'm gonna get out of here real quick. I got much to do today and I got some business engagements that have to be met. Thank you all for your time and God bless.